Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading energy, also known as Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guru, Swami Jyotirmananji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you divine souls watching today's satsang. So today we will be covering Sutra number 20 from the Sadhana Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, commentary by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirvainanji Maharaj, and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So, Sutra number 20 says, Drishta Drishi Matraha Shuddho Api Pratyaya Anupashyaha Let's repeat it. Drishta Drishi Matraha Shuddho Api Pratyaya Anupashyaha So Drishta, as we covered in the previous sutras, is the seer, the some, someone who sees it. Drish, Drishi Matraha is pure consciousness. Shuddha Api, though pure, Pratyaya Anupashyaha Follow the thought waves of the Chitta through identification. So if you paid attention to the last few sutras we've been covering uh, this week, you will see the essence of this sutra also. The meaning is that the seer is pure consciousness. Seer is yourself or uh, but though pure that your consciousness or self is absolutely pure because it is coming from God's energy, that God particle if you will. But though pure, it follows the thought waves of the chitta. Your chitta is your unconscious where all these thought waves are constantly turbulating the self through identification. So it starts to identify with those and it gets all involved in the world process. So the explanation of the sutra is the seer or the self is of the nature of pure consciousness. In other words, when by itself it is the same as God. That's why we say Aham Brahmasmi as one of the Mahavakyas or Tattvamasi. That is the nature of the self. It is immutable, changeless, associationless, free from afflictions, pure. And therefore we say we have the right to achieve liberation even in this human body. Uh, that is the mystic science. As long as the seer is dominated by ignorance of the chitta, which is the avidya, uh, so long it continues to become identified with the thought waves of the mind. So therefore, the avidya has to be, the, the veil has to be pierced through your intuitive intellect. But when ignorance is destroyed by intuitional knowledge, that knowledge is called pragya. There's a technical term. It's not the knowledge you can just read the books and uh, pass degrees from. This is through your own practice, through your own sadhana that you have to earn it through your intuitional experience. The seer then discovers his essential nature. At that point, the self is able to identify who it really is. It has come from that God particle. In other words, it is able to identify its true nature and is no longer therefore associated with the see seer, seen sight. Remember what um, Sage Patanjali has said that when the seer and the sight seen come together the sight there is this experience which gives us pain and therefore we have to learn how to detangle ourselves because we are terribly entangled in this process then without the scene it ceases to be the seer when the self identifies its true nature, it no longer is mesmerized by the world process. In other words, it has seen the magic show of the magician. It knows how it is working and therefore it gets liberated. It knows its essential nature. And we will uh, cover more in the following um, sutras in the Sutra number 21, we will cover more detail tomorrow. Om Tat Sat.